Okay, I think we're all set up. I can add stream markers on mobile. What is a stream marker? Oh, it's like to mark highlights or something. Okay. Anyway, hey everybody. Get started in here. I unlocked the last of the costumes. I don't think we had... No, we didn't have them last stream. So I have... I have all of the unlocks now, actually, I believe. Yeah, because I got a level up and I didn't get anything. I also got this April Fool's thing. Hey, it's dreams. Um, oh, we can get rid of that. I need to rig up something that just automatically removes the starting soon. Once we, uh, once I start talking. So, unfun fact of the day. My Surface Pro 3 is finally dead after five years of great service. I've been looking to get a new one anyway. I'm, I decided to pour one out, and by pour one out, I mean into a glass because I'm not wasteful, but... Have a little drink here. And just gonna play some games. Well, the one game anyway. Uh, Alright. Um, are there any easy mode things I haven't finished yet? Like, I don't want to play every song at least once. Even though some of them are, like, ridiculously difficult. Here we go. Five. That won't be too crazy. Stream a little higher. Ugh. Why is there no... Oh, whatever. I wish the Twitch thing had, like... Oops. <laughs> I guess just pay attention while I'm streaming. I wish the Twitch thing had uh, a little bit of a... A little bit of a text outline, but whatever. Hey, Parker. I know you're gonna come up here. Just come up. There you go. Don't don't block the screen. I need it. He's blocking the screen. Would you at least sit down? This, this, this song's gonna be hard enough. Ah, oh, Parker! This... <laughs> okay. Now he's sitting down. I really like the colors on this one. I like Mr. Mouse Man over there. Music. With his little Ready? thing. Go. I like Uberbot. Uberbot is my favorite Discord bot. You can thank it and it says like, no problem. You can tell it to screw off and it's like, hey, screw you too. It definitely has the most personality of any bots that I've used. Any uh, Discord bots other people like? I kept seeing Meeseeks recommended, and then we tried it in our server and everyone hated it. This is the part where I have to not talk. Aren't you lucky? So I might be taking a week off because I have more vacation time than I thought I did. And I think I have to use that up before, like, I think I started, like, the 5th of July, actually. Because I remember that I couldn't start yet because Monday was the 4th of July. So I might just, like, take off the whole week of the 4th. The 4th is, like, Thursday or something, right? I think I'll just take off that whole week. I could use some time to catch up on stuff and just relax and not be dealing with... This is a bad time to talk with my door. I'll tell you about my week in just a minute here. The difficulty in this game is weird. Because like a five? Five and below is like almost nothing, even a five. A six is like tricky, but I can do it. And seven beyond is like nearly impossible. It's like exponential increase. Have you found it easier after turning off sound effects? Maybe a little bit. I already had sound effects on low, so I could barely hear them. I only I only kept sound effects on because I thought it was the voice volume too. Turns out there is no voice volume. But they don't talk during the song, so it's not really a big deal. Hmm. 
I'm not sure if there's anything I can do about the voice or this chat thing. I'm not used to that being a thing I have to deal with. But clever enough. Why isn't there just like... Default compact, that's what I got. Fortnite! Why, why isn't there just like a proper outline? There's like a shadow. Oh well, this game is mostly dark, it's really not a big problem. I also got this one. This one comes like right around the time you get this one. It's kind of weird. The game teases you so much for the last few costumes. It takes like a billion years to get to them, and then you get like five of them at once. Hey, Barskins. What are you doing? I don't like how all of the... All of Rin's songs are so slow. Just... Um, we did that one. I'm just gonna do one of each song that I haven't done. I just wanna beat everything at least once on some of the Did that one. I think I've done all of this one. The give up treatment ones are the ones that are usually really hard. The Otaku pack. Oh, I guess AGDQ is still on, isn't it? I haven't been as, as excited for that this time. I don't know. I keep catching it for games that I don't care as much about. Um, there was the Pokemon Crystal Run, which I like Pokemon, but unless the run is like crazy, like glitched yellow stuff, eh, I, I just can't sit down for a three hour one, unless it's like bedtime and I don't want to, you know, have background noise. Um, then there was... Devil May Cry. I know they're good games, but I've never... Well, no, I've played one. I played, like, a demo of one, anyway. I've played Bayonetta, if that counts. Here we go. Um, but I don't know. I can't get... Unless it's, like, a really weird game that I would never play, like... Which is weird to say, but because I play weird games all the time. But, like, stuff like Gimmick on NES. Or, like, something like Enviro Bear that is like painful to me to play. Um, that kind of stuff I'll watch. Like stuff I've genuinely never heard of I'll watch. Stuff I have heard of and like mean to play someday but have not yet played. I don't want to watch that. I don't want spoilers. E even if it's, you know, it's a speed run and they skip all the dialogue and stuff. It's still spoilers to some degree. Yeah, I like the carrot weapon. It really has just some really great modern 2D animation stuff. The, they do... Oh, frick. That was bad. Um, probably the best use of live 2D I've ever seen, really. Definitely puts Azure Lane to shame. Azure Lane is so bad. I feel so sorry for people that spend like 20, 30 bucks to get like a couple of skins or something. And it's like really bad. <laughs> Playing the carrot as a guitar is especially choice. I'm not entirely sure why this is the necromancer background, but I'll allow it. My favorite background, so I can't object too much, but... They really rarely use the, the city street background one. I think there's only one song in the main game that uses it, and there's like a couple more in the DLC. An ancient Japanese town thing is only used a few times too. Slightly more, but... Tried a couple Bloody Mary mixes because I'm way too lazy to keep everything on hand for Bloody Mary. I think most of it's not perishable. It's like 
celery salt, Worcestershire sauce, which I'll probably usually have. I don't have it right now, though. Um, um, some various peppers. Uh, a bunch of tomato juice, of course. I've heard that you're supposed to make it with V8 instead of just tomato juice. As you can see, I don't get any more unlocks anymore, which is a shame, but, you know. It's nice to have everything, so this one's new. Poker of it. I usually watch ADQ DQ via VODs anyway. I can't catch up on it on at work and stuff. So the best circus acts. I like this just ominous floating rabbit that's been here this whole time. I like the puzzled face. It's a good face. She's a freaking gamer's rise up. She's the Joker. Right. What haven't we done? That one. I haven't done this one. <laughs> this is one of my favorite back um, backgrounds. Tag yourself. I'm Burrow in that one, definitely. In fact, I programmed a game instead of reading my math, doing my math homework. I pl I programmed a game on my calculator. And that would ultimately <laughs> serve me much better. Okay. <laughs> that would ultimately serve me much better than, than the, you know, what was it? I think it was Trig. I'm a programmer, I don't use that crap. You'll use this in your real life. But don't teach kids, you know, useful stuff like psychology and stuff, like how their own brains work. Or like, you know, you know, some degree of science education. Hold up, I have the chat open in two things and it's bothering me. There we go, that's better. Three, two, one. The clown bears. Yeah, he kind of is. He... It's got kind of a Dark Cloud 2 vibe about it, though, so I'll allow it. Her Joker outfit is too cute to not use, though. This game accidentally got me back into Scooter. I've been listening to Scooter in the car and driving probably a little bit too fast. It's funny, this game doesn't really have a great deal of happy hardcore stuff, but Tripper's feeling definitely is. And it just kind of reminded me of it. Someday I want to know what this frickin' bear's name is, because it bothers me. You know, all of the other characters. It's weird to be into a game that has, like, no lore. At all. Or any kind of story. It's just kind of here. <laughs> I wonder if there's lore head cannons on Tumblr. There probably are. Not wrong. It's just my head cannon. I feel kind of bad for using the rabbit at this point because he's like. <laughs> I usually miss between one to zero, but. If I only miss once, he's still very useful, so... I'm not sure I'm at the point where Lilith would be better. Maybe. It kind of depends on the song. I like getting a full combo, so... It just doesn't feel right until you hear... That. Oh yeah, I was supposed to tell you about my week. So we moved into the new office, and it's been... Mostly good. Um, there's some weird random issues, some intermittent network crap that, of course, only started to rear its ugly head after everyone was moved in. Uh, we think one of the switch, no, we think one of the routers is bad, so our network guy is going to replace that uh, late this week or early next week, I guess. And um, yeah. The only app it's majorly affecting is something I'm responsible for, but it has 
nothing to do with the app itself. It's just the network, but I get all of the calls. <laughs> I can't really do anything. So that's been frustrating. Plus that app has been a pain in the butt in general because they released an update. Enterprise quote unquote software is so terrible by the way. They um, there was an update that fixed an issue we happened to have. And so I installed the update on the test system. I poke around, things seem to work. And then after I set it up on, um, on the Kellings machines, it starts to change all of this dumb little stuff that I would never notice in testing. It's like, you know, oh, this is sorted differently than we like it. And for some godforsaken reason, you can't de change the default sorting. That's like basic bitch shit, but they don't let you do that. Um, and like, this search interface that I never use happens to like, it's a little bit weird. It's just all of this dumb stuff, just broken enough to drive them nuts, but just not broken enough for me to not have been able to tell. And like, all of their updates are broken. Like, I tried to roll it back to a different thing and use a different update instead. And that kind of has some problems too, and it just sucks. I didn't even notice you- what? <laughs> she just came here for that one attack, I've never seen a boss do that before. You can spook me. I can deal with this kind of track though. I like ones without many sheets. Sheets? I don't like the sheets. Because you like... It's real bad if you mix them up. Her outfit is like 50% sleeve. The other 50% is hat. If you're gonna play this, I would probably just recommend, just in general, turning off the uh, sound effects. There's not really any need for them. There's those sheets I was complaining about. Not a bad one, though. Anything that requires all perfect sheets, I almost never manage to do. For anyone else who plays it on PC or Switch, which input method do you prefer? I should not have talked. There we go. Jerk. I was about to put my fucking controller down. I hate those things where you think the song is over and then there's one more note. I like Good Bounce as a name. Alright, I think that's all of that one. That's a lot of DLC songs in this thing. The way the platforms do DLC is kind of weird, by the way. There's basically a season pass. What's it called? Just as planned. If you get just as planned, you get all of the future DLCs for free, or like, included with it. The Switch version just basically comes with that. I'm not sure why the PC one doesn't, but... After learning to make Bloody Marys, though, I'm kind of tempted to make a spicy gentleman. I'm not sure how much worse a spicy gentleman would be in terms of... I don't know, just, just drinking sriracha sauce seems weird, but... I'm not sure Bloody Mary is that different. It's, just, it's basically just tomato juice with a bunch of salty, or spicy and salty stuff put in it. It's over. Someone out there has made every single drink. That was in. That was in Read Only Memories. I salute them. It reminds me, now I've, I've kind of been collecting some. You know, stocking my liquor cabinet better. I should try, um. See what drunken Moogle recipes I can make. 
Do they usually have some fancy crap I don't have? Kids with fancy drinks. Am I holding a balloon? One of my attacks has like a weird transparent thing and I can't tell what it is. Is that his hammer? I guess it's like just a transparent hammer, I guess. There's a sudden ending there. I like Rin though in that one. Just gonna take a fucking sleep. I guess there's a lot of songs I haven't done. Probably no one cares but me, but um... I actually um... It looks like I, I disputed the content ID thing, it looks like they don't... Looks like they're not trying to be dicks about it. Alright. Oh, <laughs> this costume is like... Unusable, so that's cool. <laughs> it's you lose 10% HP, you lose 10 HP every second. Um, and I, I guess I'll show you. But basically, unless a song is over 300 beats per minute and you successfully hit everything, you basically die. It's a nice outfit, but like, they need to let you choose the effect separately from the costumes. What do you mean a trade? This is, some of the lines I don't feel were perfectly accurately translated, because there's a little bit of English in this. It was made by a Chinese indie studio, so... Pretty good job for considering I have no idea what their budget was though. But yeah, for Little Devil Measure you pretty much have to use the Lilith and then we'll try like. Uh, this is fairly fast, right? What's up? Tripper's feeling might actually be fast enough. This is very unlikely to work. <laughs> But basically, unless the song is fast enough, it is not possible to win with her. Like, your HP continues to drain down to zero. Like, it doesn't stay at one. I'm, see, as you can see, I'm just barely staying. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and since I took a hit, I'm gonna die. This one's still, I think, too slow to live. Yeah, it, <laughs> I, it can't possibly use that costume, which which sucks. She's so dramatic, though. It's one of my favorite loading screens, too. Oh, noops. No, 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 no. I think this is, like, only meant to be played on levels, like, 9 above. And you have to get, like, basically all perfect to not die. It's ridiculous. It's good for score, but, like, bluff. Uh, I'll just stick with Rabot. I can't quite tell what this costume actually does. I think it increases the ease of making, of getting, a uh, perfect. I think it, like, widens their hitbox, basically. Or extends your hurt box or something along those lines. It's really hard to tell. It says it, it makes them easier to knock back. Which everything is pretty much one hit, so that doesn't make any sense, but it probably makes their hitbox like one percent larger or something. Apparently this costume is exclusive to early purchasers of the Switch and PC version. It's not on the mobile one. I, I bought the mobile version just to be like, hey, have some ones. And um, it's not on there. I also wanted to kind of check it out for the guide. 
The mobile one has a better startup image, though. It's got like a live 2D cuddle puddle of the main characters. It's fun. I don't know why this one doesn't like at least alternate between that one and the one that it has. The one it has isn't bad, but uh, it's weird to have content be only on one of the things. Especially not being on the slightly more expensive version. The song feels really weird. It doesn't really feel like a Muse Dash song. I don't, I don't know how to describe that, but it just feels off-brand. Well, speaking of brands, you know it's gonna be good when I say that. Um, Reddit quarantined um, TD today. Their most notorious, you know, hate speech filled trash fire. Um, they were threatening to kill policemen, so. Finally, they um, quarantined them, and it seems like they might be on the way to get banned, so. That's been a freaking long time coming, so. I don't know what made Reddit finally start to, like, do things that aren't terrible, but hey. Good for them, kind of. You suck slightly less than expected, so good for you. Not too good, but a little better. Better for you. Not good, but better. Yeah, that was a weird song. I, I don't know. <laughs> Just freaking pointing at you. I don't know. I, I don't feel. I'm not feeling the lady in black too much. Why did that cut out so suddenly? Oh, whatever. The loading screens are really good. <laughs> New Pokemon looks great. It's even got the Corgi one. The one that I don't like. <laughs> I've never gotten, like, a series whiplash quite like I did with the Pokemon Sun Moon thing, or not Sun Moon, whatever it is, Sword Shield. They gotta not use S's every time. Yeah, the whole Pokedex thing, like, I don't know, man. So who's been watching AGD or SGDQ? What's the good? What's the best run you've seen? I think they started with Spyro and I missed it. Spyro runs good. Metroidvania runs are usually extremely good. I recommend all of them. There's um, there's even a Bunny Must Die run of the uh, the older PC version. It's really cool run. I'm not sure what category they did. Any percent is really short, and I don't find it very interesting personally, but I respect it. It's one of those things where you basically skip right to the final boss, and Bunny Must Die, the final boss is pretty much my least favorite part of the game, so. Personally, I go for the. Oh, god damn it. Personally, I go for the any percent no glitches, which I don't even think that glitch is on the PS4 version, so. I just go for the PS4 speedrun, I guess. Too, too hot there. I think our spam bots in Discord seem to have finally screwed off. Which, that's a freaking relief and a half. They wouldn't even successfully post anything, but they kept coming in. be brave and go for the six. Ready? Go. Oh. <laughs> this is probably a mistake. I think I can make it so those messages fade after a while in the restream chat thing. 
It's just been so long since I've messed with this at all. Six was probably a mistake. So apparently the Steam version does have manual fever. It's only the Switch one that doesn't have it, and that's so weird. Damn it. It's always the stupid dubstep portion. Why does every fucking song in this game have a dubstep portion? They're all terrible. Why? Look, I I'm a proponent of heavy bass and electronic sounds, but you gotta make it fucking sound good. You gotta, you gotta make it sound like music. You gotta fucking try. You gotta have a beat. You gotta have a melodic structure. You can't just wub on a thing and just be like, hey, it's dubstep. It's cool. I'm edgy. I'm fucking. It's still 2015, right? Dubstep is still cool. <laughs> I. <laughs> I'm sorry to rant about it every time, but like, there are no good dubstep sections in any song in this game. They're all terrible. And it's always the same exact style of just sudden wubs and then never heard from again. I like Smug Zombie. Smug Zombie is one of the better costumes. It has some of the best music. I would say probably the best music of the characters. Not that you really get to hear the characters' own themes. I don't know why the characters' themes, well, they're pretty short. But it'd be nice to be able to play the characters, like an extended version of the characters' themes, as a song. Kind of weird to have music in a music game that you can't play. I've played this song, like, five times, by the way, and I can't tell a goddamn thing that they're saying. The first time I played this song, I could barely tell there were lyrics. This is the song. Is this the song? Yeah, no, this is the one. Yeah, there it goes. I heard down, 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 and later it says rock, rock, rock. And that's all. That's all I get. I don't know why they even bother to have the lyrics. You can't hear them. I don't, maybe it's maybe it's an edited version for the 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 game, but I can't imagine. I always fucked that one up. Aw, oh, I always fucked that part up real bad. That is definitely my least favorite part of this game, gameplay-wise, is playing on a sheet and then pressing the other button. And it's a shame that this version has that. Or th this song has that. Because I like the song. This is the Switch version. Three, As you can tell. Two, one. <laughs> Oh, 
still got an S rank despite the sheet failures though. Does anyone know what a good song is to actually beat with the Little Devil Marisia thing? I would like to finish just one song, just so I can see the victory animation with it, I guess. But you actually- you genuinely can't play easy songs with it, you just die. And I can't beat the, like, level 9 stages with or without my health constantly draining, so... Just as I complain about the dubstep sections. Gotcha. Just, just get over with the dubstep portion and get back to the song, please, thanks. Well, I actually let go of that sheet too early and I pressed it again and it kind of had mercy on me. Big fan of this one. Also, my guide traffic. The traffic to my guide. I made a guide for this game, and the traffic hasn't been that bad. I wasn't really sure how many people would look up, you know, info on a music game. There are unlocks and stuff. And there's some degree of strategy of which, like, costume goes and stuff. It hasn't been as big as Abyssrium, but pretty much nothing has been. The only things that ever beat Abyssrium on my site for traffic were... Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, like, the day it came out. And, um... Maybe for, like, a couple of days. Food Fantasy. I miss Pocket Camp when it was good. But it's dead now. And it will never be undead. Or, I mean, alive. I guess undead and alive are different things, oddly. Which is weird. Um, yeah, I re-downloaded Pocket Camp, and I was like, they they put in the Happy Home feature, and I was like so excited, and then it just turns out that it's just a trick to get you to buy loot boxes. It's like, draw me in with my favorite feature, and it turns out it's just supposed to be a gateway drug to my least favorite feature. No, that's right, Parker. You tell him. You tell him, Parker. What's up, Parker? Say hi. Say hi. That's not hi. There you go. Yeah. Hold on a second here. No, you can't have this. This is not for Parkers. He got a sniff of rubbing alcohol the other day, and he ran into the other room. Like horrified and had to groom himself urgently. It's not like the smell of alcohol. Especially not rubbing alcohol. I mean, rubbing alcohol isn't a particularly good brand of alcohol scent. Uh, let's be Crimbus. I don't understand what this one means either. It does not actually add extra accuracy onto your score. Merry Christmas, Sue. It, as far as I can tell, this does not do anything. I'm probably wrong, and it just does something, like, completely impossible to understand, but I don't know what that does. If anyone does know what it does, please email me at this web zone. Maybe it increases their hitbox by 5%? It's not what it sounds like, though. It sounds like it just adds extra accuracy to the result screen, which, as far as I can tell, is not what it does. Oh, 
I guess we can calculate at the end of the match, can't we? I didn't think of that. That'd be easy. I like the spacing better on some of the easier versions of the tracks. Not just because they're easier, but it just feels like you're hitting the more relevant notes. Instead of like super tight clusters of stuff that really just feel added there to be difficult, not to like be enjoyable to play. <laughs> but hey, I still enjoy this more than any other rhythm game I've played, other than maybe Patapon, but Patapon's kind of different. Patapon's like half. Tactical RPG. It's a really interesting mix. Also, I've gotten like at least three people into. Muse Dash, which is surprising for a rhythm game. Usually, usually I see other people playing rhythm game. Was that? Was that Rin? That did not sound like Rin. That did not. <laughs> that did not add anything to my score. That or my accuracy. That's. There's no way, because adding 5%, I would have 100% if it added 5% to my score, or to my accuracy. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea what this costume does. Yeah, unless it converts greats to perfects, but there's no way. That would be way too good. Kinda of weird. Both of the special costumes have completely opaque, un incomprehensible like buffs. Ready? Go. Oh, I forgot Mr. Beans. We have a pet on Twitch now. For no reason other than I saw it in the Twitch extensions and I thought it looked stupid, so I turned it on. You just click it and it like levels up. It's an idle game for everybody basically. I'm a sucker for idle games, so I mean, why not? Oh, fucking hell, man. <laughs> is there any... Is there anybody in this damn cemetery who isn't dubstep? This one is a little bit less bad in terms of dubstep than the others. I still wouldn't quite call it music. I like this new generation of music. There's some degree of attempt to make that sound like music there. I still didn't like it, but it, it was an attempt at least. I wouldn't say any of the others really attempted anything. God, no, that, do that wasn't permission to do it again, get track. <laughs> this one goes right in the garbage. Two dubstep breaks. Gee, Song, how come your mom lets you get two dubstep breaks? No talent! I'm sure somebody's writing an essay sometime in the future. Oh, frick. Sometime in the future, someone is writing an essay about how I don't have, I don't understand the deep musical traits of dubstep and how it goes, Wah! that's really the best, that's the musical, you know, forbidden fruit that, that only the true gods may pluck of. Music. I like when my goes, music goes, Wah! that's, that's one that's good. Anyway, <laughs> let's go find a different song. Uh, are we done with all of these? 
Oh. <laughs> I, I remember why I didn't complete this one, because all of these start off at like, seven. Um... Who would be the best one? I can't tell if Little Nurse or Angela is better for living. I'm gonna guess Little Nurse. Now which one of these? Uh, who's the most defensive one? I forget. This one's pretty good, I guess, for that. Also, another thing about this game is that anything... Almost any of the hard songs tend to have a dubstep break in them. Which makes me enjoy them even less. Remember, this is the easy difficulty, by the way. Most songs on hard. Well, half of the songs on hard are easier than this. We shouldn't talk. Not the sheets. Not the sheets! Ah. Oh fuck. I somehow didn't even see the top row. I swear I'm paying attention. I wonder if these are easier to do on touchscreen or something. Cause some of these inputs, they just seem way too fast. <clears throat> At least for one finger. Long song. By the way, I've still never gotten a C rank. I don't know how you even get one. I've gotten I've gotten B rank. And I've died, but I've never gotten a C. I don't know if you just have to, like, miss every possible note without taking damage, I guess? Or maybe you have to do really badly on, like, a really low difficulty song. I was putting my controller down. That was not fair. I wanna... I wanna recount. And now several minutes of me punching this punching bag. Oh, it's gone. Not absolutely terrible. Hmm. So how many do we have left? One... Just three more songs. That one, the seven, is gonna be a pain in the ass. I'm sure of it. But what are you gonna do? Ready? Go. Three, so let me finish my drink two, here. One. All right. I really like the standing desks at work. I wasn't sure how much I'd like it, but with the whole desk, the whole desk goes up and down, so... It's really, it's really nice and um, easy to do. You kind of just rotate positions every, I don't know exactly how long, but... I usually just start out standing and my feet t start to feel kind of sore, I'll sit. Then once I know I've been sitting for a while, I'll stand up. 
I think my necks would feel a little bit less sore already. Our poor receptionist, though, um, specifically requested um, standing desks, and she's got a fancy, ex like, giant, you know, desk, because the reception desk and stuff. And, um, we didn't have a, um, we couldn't make that rise up the way the other ones rise up, so we'll have to get, we have to get her a separate thing. So she didn't, she didn't get a standing desk at least right away, but we'll, we'll, we're gonna get her one. We're still kind of moving stuff in. I think they filled most of the vault yesterday. And, um... We still don't have our shredder. I think it's still shredding stuff at the old office. I think there's like three people there. I was the only purpose person in like the whole office whose belongings fit into a single box. It fit onto my PC box, in fact. There was some paperwork and crap that came with my desk, like from prior people in my position, and none of it was relevant to keep, so it just went on to the shredder. And that felt kind of good. Get rid of all that crap. We're still not quite paperless, so I wish we would be. Especially because printers. <laughs> printers cause so much trouble. I hate when people have like printer questions. It's like I don't, I don't know. I don't use printers. I don't know things about printers. I have never, I have not consensually used a printer in maybe ten years. If you want to call college consensually using a printer, I mean that's pretty. That's pretty much, I had to do that too. But I don't have one at my house. I no longer have one at work. There's network ones I can print to, but... I haven't even had to do that. In a long time. The last time I had to print something was... I had to mail something. You know, like, with snail mail? Can you believe that? Like, not even on the internet. Like, there's this box. Did you know there's the box on the front of your house? And you can like, get stuff there, and you can like, send stuff to other people's boxes? It's weird. It must be very expensive to, to set up, but... I think it was a rebate or something I had to do. I was afraid I'd have to like print stuff out for my taxes this year. So I don't have my tax purse anymore. But um What was this called? Online taxes. It was what my old tax professional used anyway. Um and it was pretty easy to use. I was afraid to be a big pain in the butt, but no, it wasn't a problem. I have not been audited, so I assume I have not committed any tax crimes. Which are even worse than YouTube crimes. And uh it wasn't too bad, honestly. It wasn't wasn't too bad. And I have fairly complex taxes. I don't have any capital gains yet. Oops. But um I do have self-employed income from like what is it, like three or four sources now? So that's a pain in the ass. I am now completely baffled how people who only have W-2s can like have trouble with their taxes though. Because I literally just, like it was already on file and I just put in I just put in my tax, you know, number, and it just brought it right in, and I was done. I don't understand how you could possibly have trouble with that. If it was any easier, it would have been completely automated. I don't know what the point of my leveling up. What, what level are other people? I guess it's just, you know, 
to show off how much you've played. Um, let's just be a different costume. <laughs> Me and the gang. Ready? Go. I haven't been on Twitter as much lately. I guess I should be. Serious bear. This game likes making piano notes into the little note items. At least half the time if those notes appear, they're piano thing. Oh god. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> They're at least like integrating the wub step into like some actual music, so like I'm okay with that. It tries to have some degree of structure. Oh frick. I hate getting japed out by the notes. It's so easy to for some reason, and it's so consequential too. Oh my. <laughs> the song is weird because it just kind of comes out of. It has these bits that come out of nowhere. Even though I knew it was going to be a hard song, but just suddenly stuff happens. It's quite possibly the least descriptive sentence of all time. Suddenly stuff happens, you know? You know how it is. Yeah, this is one of the ones where I just, I'm happy if I live to the end of the song, which I will, so. We're good. Is there gonna be one more extra note? No, is there gonna be awkward silence? Okay. Totally. I love, I love the use of totally in the, in the achievements. Convenient star censorship there. Um, let me show you the achievements though. Where are they? Totally knocked back. Not partially knocked back, totally. I don't know if that means if they meant perfectly or if that's just supposed to be a little bit of flair that they say totally. Total knockback. <laughs> total. <laughs> this is so many totallys. I haven't seen this many totallys since the 90s. Good stuff, though. Total. Alright, is that every song? I will kill, I will destroy the world. Yes, we've... Unless there's anything in the main songs, so I can't imagine. Oh, by the way, if you beat Milk, you get, um... You get a special thingy. You get a special loading screen, so... Even if you're scared of level 7 levels, you should do that. Yeah, you've beaten once of every song. Alright, let's do some favorites here. Uh, what costume are we? It's something we haven't been for a bit. Let's be the classics. Quite a night out there, but I see y'all lurkers. The point, a lot of my favorite songs are in the earlier portion of the game. I haven't really added too many favorites in. Though I found K-Fig pretty early. It's in the later DLCs, but I found it early for some reason. I know I found it. I like the art of it. 
so I just played it. Sometimes you should judge a book by its cover, because that's that's literally what book covers are for. Oh god damn it. <laughs> I was busy yelling. So I couldn't miss I couldn't hit the note. You're supposed to judge books by the cover. That's the whole point. That's the point of the cover. And, um, who's the was it? I don't know if we're gonna be able to end the freaking um, strong bad games because I don't want to stream them in the middle of AGDQ at the end of AGDQ, no less, when everybody can watch because it's the weekend. So, Meow. Meow. hi Parker, what's up, Parker? All right, I'm gonna try this, it's gonna be bad, but. I bet the song isn't fast enough, but we'll see. What is the what is the Japanese like face paint, face paint connection thing? Was with the painting people's faces on New Year's? I don't. I hate when I have like questions during live streams because like it's the only time I can't just open up Google. too slow. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that one's possible. I mean, I didn't play perfectly by any means, but I know you're punished for like stretches of nothing. Like there's, there's literally nothing you can do about that. You just lose. Oh no. Cause like here, watch this at the beginning of the song. I guess it waits for the first note. But there's all these gaps. There's just nothing I can do about that. Oh frick. Well, maybe this one isn't impossible if you do it absolutely perfectly, but I don't know. If that song is possible, it's just barely. I think you're supposed to go for like... The nines. The nine difficulty ones. Uh... Er, well, no, I gotta change costume. So back to, back to the what? surface thing, like, I was planning to wait until the next surface came out. And I don't know if I can wait for that now. Because it's probably going to be in fall. 
And I use that every day. I still have my desktop. And I guess I could just use it more. But like, I use that for the bedroom and kitchen. See, like, this song has just started, and I have 50 HP. At least it holds it for hold notes. But yeah. <laughs> we just genuinely can't use that. <laughs> My least favorite of the loading screens, frankly. Um, but yeah, if anybody knows what the hell, like, a relatively easy stage to use the little devil costume on, let me know. Because I want to I wanna finish at least one thing. Um on that one. Uh, what would be best for this? <coughs> Sneezing! Oh, it's what would be best for this. Um... We haven't been this in a while, so we'll just do that. possible solution for the chat thing, the chat replay thing, on YouTube, but I don't know. I wish you could just export the chat directly, because I don't like having to put it on screen. I was never a big fan of the, like, super complicated Twitch layouts and crap. I just want to see the game. See game, hear commentary. Those are the two things. Matter. Me. Gotta stop talking. Too bad. S rank. Not a fancy silver S rank, but. Alright, let's do just one more song here. dubstep break. What's this one? Yeah, this looks pretty good. Uh, what have we done? I guess we done. You gotta get your aura kicks in there. Everyone's favorite word. I really like the chibi for the witch costume though, it's really cute. Oh, 
Okay, we're doing that. Music. Ready? Go. I can't tell if that's supposed to be a tiny car in the background or like really far away. It just looks like a tiny car though. Some of the really good early songs here just don't have hard modes for some reason. Well, they don't have mastered difficulties anyway. Still more DLC coming on the way for this, by the way. So the game's not complete, so to speak. In a good way. I don't know why the in-game ears don't have the fluff, though. The fluff is a very important part of the ear. It dampens the noise the ears you see very important that's i love this sonic one though All right. oh. it feels weird being in a chair this long since i could do the standing desk thing at work now I gotta get a standing desk at home now anyway i got some other stuff i should get to here quick um Probably a new Azure Lane event coming out tomorrow. I don't know if I'll stream that or not. I guess it depends if it's any interesting to stream. <laughs> the current event, the glorious event, freaking kind of sucks. But um, this is just kind of a mini event, it's just a very grindy mini event. But um, not really sure what the next one will be. It's introducing the the French bad guys basically. So maybe it'll be a big one, kind of like the Bismarck one. I don't know. We'll see soon. So, might stream, might not. Almost no dropped frames this time. Mediacom kind of got their stuff together. That's that's very surprising. Anyway, good night, everybody. See you later. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon, and any relevant links to the game. 